This is the UPerfect portable monitor, a 13.3 inch 1080p monitor that runs off a single USB-C cable. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why this monitor really lives up to its name. This is really the perfect monitor for me, or you. Let's get into it. A few weeks ago, I was asked to do the production on a Zoom wedding, which means my job was to put the wedding onto Zoom. So I had all the AV equipment with me, uh, cameras, microphones, speakers, but of course I needed a computer. So I did, made the decision to bring my M1 Mac Mini, which means I still needed a portable monitor. So after doing some research, I decided to go with the UPerfect 13.3 USB-C monitor. So there were some requirements that I had in getting a portable monitor. First, it had to be very portable, and this one's 13.3, but most of the ones that you research on Amazon are 15.6 inches, so it's a little bit bulkier. It had to be 1080p, and also it had to be USB-C compatible. Now, some monitors that you research on there say that they are USB compatible, or USB powered. When, when they say USB powered, sometimes they mean that they don't actually send the video feed through the USB cable. They actually, it's just powered by the USB cable only. And then some are USB compatible, but some of those monitors only use the display link drivers and not the display port, which is the USB-C native kind of protocol feed, right? And the performance on the display link drivers is definitely not as good as the native USB-C video support. There are a few other pluses to this monitor. First, this one supports HDMI, which most portable monitors do, but this one has a full-size HDMI connector. Now, if you search on Amazon for portable monitors and you sort by the highest average customer rating, most of those top monitors support a mini HDMI connector or a micro HDMI connector, which means that you're gonna need an adapter to you know, support a full-size HDMI cable. Now, the other plus I would say for this monitor is that this is VESA mount compatible as far as mounting is concerned, which means that I can put this on an arm or a monitor stand that's VESA compatible. Now, later on in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I utilize and take advantage of the full-size HDMI connector and the VESA mount for mounting this thing. So let's take a closer look at the monitor itself. Okay, so here is the monitor itself. Uh, it does have a metal build. I, th I think this is an aluminum build, so it's quite sturdy. As you can see, it's quite reflective. You'll see me there with using my phone as the overhead shot here. You know, the nice thing about it is it did come with this protective plastic cover that I put on. You can see a little bit of an air bubble right there, but that doesn't show up when the monitor is on itself. So let's go on to the connectors that I was talking about before. Here on the right side, we have the full size HDMI connector. Here's a mini display port, which is not used very often, but it's kind of nice that it's there. Then you have the USB-C cable. This one does both power and the video feed. There's another USB-C connector here, and this one mainly does power. So the nice thing is, if you're using this on a laptop, you can feed the power through here, feed this in, connect this into your laptop, and this will charge the laptop as well as power the monitor itself. So let's finish up by going through this side here. You have the OSD controls or your on-screen display controls. And then you have a mini USB cable here for uh, OTG connections with some Android phones. And so it's kind of an old connector, but it still works. You can use the USB-C cable for some of the newer Android phones as well. Then it has the this hole here, which you can use to stick through as a stand. But the main way that you'll mount this up or use it as a stand is with this cover here. And I'll roll some B-roll on how I use this cover, but mainly this attaches to the back via magnetically, and it just uh, you're able to do this, use two different display angles with this. 
On the back, you have the two holes from the VESA mount. Now, there are only two holes here, but I'll get into that a little bit later. And then you have the labels for the different connectors here. Another thing I forgot to mention was that this is an IPS display, so the viewing angles on it are quite good as well. Now, I did mention that I used this for my last Zoom wedding, and it worked out flawlessly. There were no glitches at all. Everything was clear, even out in the bright sun. Now, other ways I use this even on a daily basis are when I'm here at my desk with my Mac Mini, I have my 35 inch ultra wide monitor, but I do use it as a second monitor. Now, because it has the Visa mount in the back, I'm able to mount this on my monitor arm here. I can mount it horizontally or vertically. So when it's vertical, I can put my Slack window on top and my email on the bottom or I can do it by side by side. But with my 35 inch monitor, I usually don't put it horizontally because it's quite wide. But that's kind of a nice thing I can do is use it as a second monitor and just plug it in with that one cable as well. I also can use it when I'm upstairs with my laptop as a second monitor as well. Now, as far as that full HDMI cable is concerned, sometimes I use it as a monitor for my camera when I'm filming not at my desk. So I can use it to see what I'm filming and just kind of frame myself as well. I do need to power it up if I'm using that HDMI cable, but it's nice that it's a full size HDMI cable because my camera uses a micro HDMI cable. And so to, for me, if this was anything other than a full size HDMI connector, I would have to get either two adapters, one for each end, or buy a specialized cable that is both you know, both micro on each side or micro and mini on each side. Anyway, it's easier just to find a single HDMI mic to micro HDMI connector. So I only have to worry about one end of the connector. Now there are a few minor negatives I have with this. It's not the perfect monitor like they're saying it is, but let's say the first flaw I would say uh, is the vis visa mount. And there are only two holes here. Now, standard Visa mounts have four holes, and they're usually in the 100 millimeter or 75 millimeter configuration. This happens to be the 75 millimeter configuration, but there are only two holes. So even when I mount it uh, vertically, I have to only put it on these two holes. Now, this monitor is light enough where it's going to be pretty secure. Now, speaking of the holes themselves, they're not quite that deep. And you can't make them that deep or else they'll just kind of screw into the monitor itself. You don't want to damage the monitor screen. But that means that there's a little bit of gap and I need to find some spacers when I mount this onto the monitor arm itself. But it does shake around a little bit. It's not going to fall off, but it does have a little bit of give. So you need to be careful if you knock it a little bit. Um, but those are that's just one minor point. And you may never use the mounting solution on this but it's kind of nice that it's there as well, whether you use it or not. And the other negative I would say, and it's not a negative for this monitor itself, but for mon portable monitors in general, and it would be even worse with a normal size 15.6 portable monitor, but it's transporting these things, right? Now, my everyday kind of going out bag is this kind of Manfrotto uh, backpack. This is a, both a camera and a laptop backpack and it's very snug and it's very compact which is nice but when i put my laptop in here there's really no room anymore for this monitor right and this remember this is a 13.3 so if you have a 15.6 inch one it'll be even worse so uh, i need to really change up the way i have my kind of on the go uh, carry on right so i'm gonna need a different backpack than just using this backpack here but that's just kind of a minor kind of negative, which you're gonna have with every portable monitor as well. But those are just very minor negatives. I would say overall, this is an almost perfect portable monitor for me. This is probably the best one I've seen and the best one for my use case. The 13.3 inch size is perfect for on the go. Uh, it matches up perfectly with my MacBook Pro, uh, which is also a 13.3 inch monitor. Uh, when I had this at the wedding with my Mac Mini, it was a perfect size. I just wanted the most compact size, but with a high quality monitor. This Again, this is an IPS monitor, so the brightness is, is very good. 
Uh, the viewing angles are awesome. And you know, the color rendition uh, from what I can see is really good. So overall, would I recommend this monitor? For sure. Uh, it does retail, I believe, at the time of this recording at 189. I did get this on a sale uh, for you know 40, 50 dollars off. So there are sales to be had out there. But with all the connectors, it does come with all the cables that you need. I would say overall, this is a definite buy. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.